Hey guys, welcome to DOS Storm. Today we are looking at sound cards. More specifically, this sound card. This is the AOPEN 3D FX. If you've never heard of that, it's probably because it's just a generic name. The real magic going on here is with the analog device's 1816 JS chip that is on it. This chip has Sound Blaster and AdLib compatibility, so it should work with the majority of DOS games that support that. You can get this card for around $16 on eBay, so what I'm gonna do is compare it to a real Sound Blaster 16 and see if it's actually something worth buying or if you should just go to a Sound Blaster 16 for a little bit more money. So I'm gonna run it through a gauntlet of games here, see what you guys think, and I'll give you my final thoughts at the end of the video.
All right, guys, so I think you can pretty much tell that if you want a true Sound Blaster sound, you should probably buy a Sound Blaster and not this thing. Um, there are other cards that sound closer to a Sound Blaster, like an ESS audio drive, for instance. However, I still think this card is kind of neat and cards like this. I think this is the coolest thing about this particular period in PC gaming. It's because you have all these clones floating around and they all kind of sound different and they sometimes can make your game sound really cool or uh, like in the case of like Commander Keen, uh, super weird. I actually think some games uh, in this particular lineup almost sound better. Like I think Descent sounds really cool, maybe not necessarily better. I actually think Dooms definitely sounds better. Uh, particularly like the post-mission screen, I think sounds really cool, uh, just more heavy, it just sounds cool. But uh, this is all gonna be up to taste, and if you want, like I said, if you want real Sound Blaster sound, you should probably buy a real Sound Blaster or one of the clones that sound way more accurate. But anyway guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I am planning on doing more like this. If I get more sound cards, I like this kind of stuff, but I do other vintage game stuff on my channel, so if you like this video, give it a like and subscribe to me and I will see you in the next one.